when the Great Smoky Mountains National Park opened and highways were built through the mountains of North Carolina, the Cherokee people finally had a market for their traditional arts and crafts. A few years later, they created the Kuala Arts and Crafts Mutual, and for 70 years, this co-op has helped keep the traditions and the spirit of the Cherokee alive. Cherokee has become a, a destination for a, a lot of people because we're up here in the mountains right next door to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, which is the most visited park in the country. When I woke up this morning, I was near a brook in the colorful woods with the trees of all different colors and the sun was shining and it just felt like a slice of heaven here. People have come to enjoy these things about Cherokee since the area first began attracting tourists in the 1940s. For generations before that, and all those since, however, it has been home to the proud nation of Cherokee people and their many traditions. Most every house seems to have an artist or someone that does some type of uh, traditional art or singing or dancing or something that goes along with that line. It's no surprise then that the town of Cherokee is home to a one-of-a-kind collection of Native American arts and crafts. It almost feels like a museum with everything for sale. You know, the quality of the work is, is top-notch. The feel you get when you walk in there is that you're in the middle of, of Cherokee. You know, the people that made these, you can almost feel them standing there and, and almost see them sitting there working on their projects. This is as authentic as it's going to get as far as Cherokee art. Yeah, because these were used a long time ago for storage, building their homes with. It's called the Kuala Arts and Crafts Mutual. Kuala is how you would say the name Polly in the Cherokee language. And it was a woman that was well liked within the community. I think she had a store or post office. The cooperative named after her represents the work of more than 250 artisans. Kuala Arts and Crafts is the oldest Native American cooperative in the United States and has been a source of income for the local artists since it was established and really has helped us as people to supplement our income. And at the same time, it has helped us preserve our traditions in the arts by affording us a place to market our work. The work represents techniques handed down for generations. Everything here at Kuala Arts and Crafts is authentically handmade. Everything from basketry to pottery, beadwork, finger weaving, painting, drawings. Highlighted are the baskets. Every basket is different. I could make this right here and come back maybe two, three days later and try to get it to be the same size, the same shape. It don't do that. Every basket you make and shape out is a little bit different than every other basket that you make. Their expertise is evident before the weaving even begins. The basket weavers would go out and cut a white oak tree, probably four or five in diameter. They use an ax to quarter it. And then from there, it's just a pocket knife that they use. From there, they just scrape the splints and trim it down, and everything's handmade. And then they go out and gather the blood root for the dyes. They gather the walnut. But all the splints from the white oak is boiled, and that's how they achieve the dyes. Aside from the many original items for sale, Kuala Arts and Crafts also houses a permanent collection of artwork. It's a historical perspective from generations of artisans that came before and handed down their talents. It's a gift that is vitally important to all the future generations who call this place home. If we lost our, the, all the arts and crafts of the Cherokee people, we'd lose our identity. I just remember my father always telling me stories of my grandma and my grandpa and how they would make baskets for like two weeks and. They would put all they could fit into a sheet and put it on their shoulders and bring them to town to sell. It just gives me good feeling because uh, it's something that my mother handed down to me. So history is in the basket.
the Koala Arts and Crafts Mutual is located at 645 Solly Boulevard in Cherokee. They're open year round except for Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's Day. Their hours are seasonal so call first at 828-497-3103 or go online to koalaartsandcrafts.com.